The first fort was built here starting in the uh, spring of 1776. The uh, fort that we see behind us here is actually the third fort to stand on the site. That was built in 1809. The uh, fort expanded, as we know, Fort Moultrie beyond the confines of the old brick fort in the late 1890s as we're moving into modern era of coast artillery. Uh, let's face it, the navies of the world by that time are in the age of the modern battleship and we have to have something on shore to counter the threat in case our coastal cities were attacked. The days of the brick forts and the cannons are over. Um, here on Sullivan's Island, there's a number of concrete gun batteries right off the beach that were built in the late 1890s up to the early 1900s uh, with much larger modern coast artillery. So this was an active army post all the way through World War II but the coming of World War II coast artillery was uh, on the skids to obsolescence and the uh, fort was finally shut down for good in 1947. World War II was the last hurrah for coast artillery. And there's two factors that are really going to lead for the shutdown of Fort Moultrie, um, other coastal forts and the Coast Artillery Corps as a whole. And that's simply uh, submarines and airplanes. All of these neat, uh, even from the days of the cannons, even to the uh, modern coast artillery of the 20th century, uh, you're gonna aim and shoot at something offshore. Even though the ship might be, uh, in the 20th century, might be seven miles away, you can still hit it. But it all requires you seeing it and aiming it and firing and hoping that your projectile meets with your enemy vessel. Now, what if that's a, a, a submarine? We don't even know that it's out there. An airplane. One bomb on top of fort, goodbye fort. So uh, the submarines and the airplanes were really the cause of the obsolescence of uh, fixed guns on the coastline. So uh, as you're gonna see, uh, Fort Moultrie, the other coastal forts, and the Coast Artillery Corps all disbanded. Um, by 1950, in fact, uh, Fort Moultrie was shut down in uh, 1947, and that really ended 171 years of uh, military servants under one army or another, and I like to say that because you're going from uh, state militia to U.S. Army, back to state militia, the Confederate Army, back to the U.S. Army. So you have several changes of hands in there, but 170 years of uh, military use here at Fort Moultrie. One of the must-see things is if you're aware, even casually aware of uh, artillery pieces from the 19th century, we have one of the largest collections on the East Coast here. Some of our guns go to well back uh, before the uh, uh, Civil War. We even have one Revolutionary War piece here, um, all the way up to the turn of the last century with the modern coast artillery. We particularly have over on the left side of the fort, on the outside, a uh, what we call Cannon Row, a pretty good collection of um, Civil War artillery pieces, both Union made and Confederate made. We have some pretty rare pieces over there too. We've got one that's called a Brook Rifle that the uh, Confederates manufactured and uh, they only cast a three of them and we have one. So some pretty rare pieces. Uh, that's one of the attractions here. It just kind of appreciation the, of the, uh, the different, the timeline, the long timeline, 171 years of, uh, of uh, coast artillery here at uh, Fort Moultrie. Uh, one thing that I like is the World War II part. The camouflage building on the hill over there was uh, built during World War II as the gatekeeper for Charleston Harbor. It's called the Harbor Entrance Command Post. And all shipping coming in and out of Charleston Harbor had to get approval from the Joint Army and Navy personnel that manned that building. Folks, if you have the opportunity, whether you're visiting Charleston or a area resident that has not been out here, please come on out. Um, we have a lot to offer, um, not only from the history side, we also have a, a, a cultural story out here. So there's a lot of really 
um, compelling stories out here on Sullivan's Island today, and we enjoy sharing those and uh, with our visitors. And uh, we'd like to come on over.